Hi everyone, this is Mehmoo Sheikh and from past few videos I am working on developing a college management system using PHP Code Uniter. And in this video I will discuss how to link CSS and JS files with our Code Uniter project. Okay, so here for this project I will be using a Bootstrap framework. Okay, so for downloading Bootstrap you need to go to bootswatch.com and here you can select any of the template okay so i am choosing this cosmo theme okay so here if you click on this drop down you will find the css bootstrap css okay you can select any of this bootstrap or css file so when you click on this bootstrap.min.css or bootstrap.css file this file gets open in another window from where you can select the entire code and then you can just copy and paste that code and then put it in your editor and then save it with a name called bootstrap.css okay so that's how you can create the bootstrap.css file okay and you also need the boots bootstrap js file okay so for bootstrap.js file okay here i have uh, written the url and the same url i will just copy and i will put this url in the description of this video and you also want jquery 3.1.0.js as well okay so all this urls i'm going to put in the uh, description of this video from where you can easily get these files okay so i will put the url for bootstrap.css file as well okay, so once you download all this bootstrap.css bootstrap.js and jquery file then you need to create a folder called assets somewhere on your desktop or yeah you know, or in any place okay so once you create the folder called assets then create two more folders inside the assets folder one is for css and another one is js okay inside j inside css files keep your bootstrap.css files okay and then inside the js put your bootstrap and jquery file okay so these js javascript files and css files you need to download uh, exactly the way i have told you just few minutes back okay so for downloading this css and js i will put the link of these files in the description of this video okay so from where you can easily download these files okay so now i have already created this folder so what i will do is i will just close it okay i will cut it and i will come to my project college ms management system and then here i will put it okay and now when i come here to my project i can see the assets folder okay inside assets i have two folders css and js inside js i have different files and inside css i have different file okay so now i have set my assets folder okay so now we need to link these css and js files to our project okay for linking your js and css files you need to write this code okay so you have to use link tag for linking your css file okay and for this inside this hr href href tag you need to use a php code as base url okay so you need to use this base url base url will return the path till here 127 dot zero dot zero dot one slash your project name okay right now our project name is college management system or college ms okay so base url which you can see here this base url will return the path till here your local host slash project name okay and after that we need to set the path manually okay so we need to set the location of the file uh where our bootstrap.min.css is located okay so my bootstrap.min.css file is present inside assets then css and then bootstrap.min.css okay so this is how you can link your css file okay so for linking js file again you need to do the same thing here you need to use the script tag and then you need to again use the base url inside the base url you need to put the location of your jquery file okay my jquery file is present inside my js folder which is present inside assets folder okay so like this you can link okay now let us see uh, whether these files have successfully linked with our project or not okay so for that now let's just refresh 
the project okay so now it's displaying me uh, an error message as call to undefined function base url okay so it's a function of code igniter okay so you need to use the url helper okay so this is the helper method and we need to use url inside our configuration and then auto load file okay here you need to come to helpers okay here you need to mention that i want to use the url helper okay so here inside our home.php we are trying to use this base url helper and that's why we need to tell to coordinator that we are using the facility of helper in our project so for that we need to load that url helper inside our autoload.php file okay now i have loaded my url helper inside my autoload.php file so now when i come to our project and refresh now you can see the font style of our text gets changed okay, so that means um, our bootstrap.css and bootstrap.jss files successfully gets linked to our project now let's verify it right click on this page and then click on view page source now let's click on this bootstrap.min.css file now you can see entire code of bootstrap.min.css it's displaying that means your css file is linked successfully and now click on these two files as well okay this one is also linked successfully and this one is also linked okay now okay, close this one okay close these two as well okay now we have linked our css and js files okay so while linking your js files you need to keep this point in your mind that you need to place your jquery file below the bootstrap.js file okay so if you keep jquery file below the bootstrap.js file like this then it will give you an error okay so if you keep, if you do like this then you will not able to uh, achieve this kind of functionality of dropping down okay so the the functionality of this dropping down drop down i'm able to use because i'm using jquery and this jquery you need to put above the bootstrap.js okay so that's one thing you need to keep in your mind okay now we have set or, or link our css and js files as well that's all for this uh, video i hope you like this video i hope you got some useful and valuable information out of this video okay if you like this video click on like button share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and i will see you guys in my next video and thanks for watching